Hello. In this session, we will be discussing about photochemistry. Now, what exactly is a photochemistry? You see, in case of photosynthesis, what happens that uh, sunlight is falling on chlorophyll, right? So, the chlorophyll molecule is uh, getting excited. Under excitation, what, what it will do? It will expel an electron to out outermost orbit. Okay. And when it goes to the outermost orbit, then there is a sequence of events that is going to happen. Today, we are just going to discuss about that, right? So, let us see that suppose this is a ground state. Okay. And suppose there is a blue light and if blue light is given, then electrons are expelled it to one particular level, what we call excited state. right? But you know very well that in case of blue light, the energy is more. So, what, if, what will happen? That it will go beyond to the excited state and there is a one more state, what we call singlet state. Okay, so this electron will be expelled to singlet states. Now, what will happen? We know very well that electrons will come down to its ground state, right? So, when it comes down over here, then large number of heat is actually being released. Okay, now this heat has a capacity to go for the photo oxidation of chlorophyll. Right? But naturally what happens, this photo oxidation is actually been prevented. And how it is prevented? It is prevented by keratinoids. So, we know very well, one of the prime function of keratinoids is to prevent the photo oxidation. Okay? But let us see what is going to happen when we are going to use the red light. So, suppose this red light is given over here. So, here also the electron will be expelled, right? So, from this particular state, when it comes down, then what will happen? Or delta E is going to be used, and this will be showing the phenomena of what we call fluorescence. This will be releasing energy, and that is going to be utilized for the photosynthesis. Okay? Here also, what happens when it will return to a ground state? It is all also going to release delta E. That also shows the phenomena of fluorescence. And this will also utilize for the photosynthesis. Now, you see this photosynthesis, this photosynthesis or we can say the yield in both cases remains the same. There is no difference. But the main question is, which of these two light is efficient? That is often asked in meat. Now, red light is more efficient. Why it is more efficient? Because you see, here there is no loss of energy. Okay. So, in case of blue light, what happens? There is a loss of energy in the form of heat. But in case of red light, there is a no loss of energy. That is why we say red light is the most efficient light. So, this is a very simple thing as far as the entire photochemistry is concerned. Right? Thank you.